Happy New Year, everybody! Let's all stand. Let us worship the Lord.
as the three kings offer that what they have to Jesus. May you continue to use us, oh God, to be the blessing of your people, oh God. Continue to use us and to give us faith, hope, and love in our hearts so that it may overflow to the people, to your children here on earth, oh God. As we believe, oh mighty Father, use us to be your instrument for your people. As we believe in your word, we believe in your will, and we believe in your promise that never fail us all throughout this year. We offer to you and surrender this year to you, O oh God. All this we pray in Jesus' name.
on, lift it up. If you try to praise him, on, don't stop. Come on, keep praising. Yes, Jesus. Miracles are coming this way, this 2019. Amen. 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 And because of that, Jesus just proves to us every day that he never fails. He never fails and he is unstoppable. He doesn't stop in whatever plans he's doing in your life. He's not stopping in his perfect plan and his perfect will. And let's celebrate that love. And let's start it right in 2019. Come on, jazz together. Heaven and earth and the world was born. A life begins and ends in the dust you form.
He is unstoppable. He will not stop at anything to give us His favor, to give us His grace, to give us His blessing, to give answers to our miracles. And so we proclaim this year as one family, Lord. We stand at the cusp of 2019 and we say, Thank you. Thank you, God, for all the blessings that you have given upon our feast family. We thank you in particular and give you praise for the increasing and continuous financial provision for each and every family here. For success in our businesses and our jobs. For healing, Lord God, from breast cancer, hyperthyroidism, fatty liver, and all the diseases which you have laid your hands upon, Lord God, in every member of our family. Reconciliation with family and friends. For the gift of family, for new friendships, and a gift of a one true love. Thank you, Father. For a gift of a baby, why don't we give the Lord praise? For all the children born this year, for adding to our numbers, for giving joy to these parents. We praise you, Lord, for opportunities to travel and see the world, for guidance and strength during the darkest hours. Thank you for never leaving us, God. For the ability and opportunity to help other people. For new opportunities. For academic achievements. Let's praise the Lord. For all the students in our feast. For passing the board exams. For being able to attend the feast regularly. Thank you, Father. For you feed us with your word. And you show us the way. Thank you, Lord, for being the God that you are to us. So gracious so awesome, so loving, so true. Praise Him. Praise the Lord. We praise you, God. You are marvelous in every way. And we know that the blessings won't stop because we trust in you. It may come in many packages, God. It may come in troubles and struggles, but you will always be with us. You are God, Almighty King of kings and Lord of lords. You are forever alive. Thank you, Jesus. Tell them, this year is victory year for you. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand. Thank Him in advance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray our favorite prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. 
can you look at people around you? Do they look happy? May pagbabago ba sa kanila? Tumaba ba? Nagkabalbas ba? Huh? We are happy people, but the truth is, humanity has a problem. Many people's lives are imprisoned. And the prison's name is fear. It is fear. What are we afraid of? May mga tao takot sa dilim. Maglalakad, tapos madilim, di na makalakad. Mag-isa, maglalakad, tapos kinakabahan, madilim. Baka meron dito. Diba? Kaya takot tayo sa salitang ano, sino yung kasama mo? Diba? Nakakatakot yung ganun. Para mag-isa lang ako. Ah. We're afraid of the dark. Yung iba, takot, maubusan ng pagkain. No? Kaya kung makakuha, parang huling hapunan na. No? Some of us are afraid to ask because we, are, we fear rejection. Some of us, we are afraid to act because we fear failure. Some, they're afraid to love again because they fear getting hurt again. Kaya may mga babaeng nagsasabing, pare-pareho lang kayong mga lalaki. Ito lang ang sagot ko. Kung pare-pareho kami, bakit namimili ka pa? Pare-pareho lang pala. Others are afraid to die. Sino rito ang takot mamatay? Huwag kayo mahiya, taas ang kamay. Tata mo, ang kukunti, lahat kaya. Ako, hindi ako takot mamatay. Huwag lang ngayon. <laughs> But some of us are afraid to die. Naalala ko isang mister. Talagang maiyak-iyak doon sa ospital. Sabi niya sa misis niya, Honey, kung hindi ako makakaligtas sa operasyong ito, ikaw na ang bahala sa ating mga anak. Tapos tiningnan niya yung mga anak niya, sabi niya, I love you all. Maiyak-iyak, nanginginig yung mister. Sabi ng misis, tumigil-tigil ka. Wala pang namatay sa tuli. <laughs> takot na takot. <laughs> But we're afraid to die. Question, how many times have you been held back by fear? How many times? Yung imbis na kukunin mo na yung pangako, hindi mo makuha. Bakit? Kasi takot ako eh. My earnest prayer is that by the end of this liberating series, this is a series we're starting talk one today, of the series, Courage. You'll have escaped the bed of your comfort and entered the battlefield of your courage. That's my prayer for you. For this entire series, we will be dissecting a crazy story in the Bible, in the Old Testament. This is where God asked Abraham to sacrifice his beloved son, Isaac. Yun ang pag-uusapan natin the whole series. Hihimayin natin yung, yung salitang yun, yung kwento na yun. Kung kailan hiningi ng Diyos ang pinakamahal niyang anak ni Abraham si Isaac para ialay sa kanya sa altar. Patayin ang anak niya at ibigay sa Diyos. It's a crazy story. And that is what we're going to do. Are you ready? It starts by this. Can you look at the screen? Can you read with me together? Some time later, God tested Abraham. He called him Abraham, and Abraham answered. Sige, basahin natin. Yes, here I am. Take your son, God said. Your only son, Isaac, whom you love so much. And go to the land of Moriah. There on the mountain that I will show you, offer him as a sacrifice to me. It's a crazy, controversial conflicting story at the beginning of the Bible. Why? Because in the Old Testament, it was very clear that God, Yahweh, abhors the religious practices of human sacrifice. 
Yung mga Hudyo, isang nation sila, pero pinaliligiran sila ng iba't ibang nation na iba't iba rin ng mga Diyos. May mga sarili silang mga Diyos. Sila, si Yahweh. At sabi ng Diyos sa kanila, ayoko niya. In Deuteronomy, you will see it. It says, you must not worship the Lord your God in their way. Because in worshiping their gods, they do all kinds of detestable things the Lord hates. They even burn their sons and daughters in the fire as sacrifice to their gods. Pag ayaw ng Diyos natin. Alam nyo, merong isang Diyos Diyosa nung panahon noon. Ang pangalan niya si Molek. Can we show them the picture? Ganito si Molek. Inside his belly was a raging fiery furnace. Nakita niyo yun, no? May sinusunog doon. And the whole Molek statue is iron. Pag nagsunog ka sa loob ng iron, lahat ng iron statue will be red hot. Mainit na mainit yan. And worshippers would grab their babies and throw them into Molech's open arms, burning their children to death. If you're a parent now, tingnan nyo nga yung anak nyo, gagawin nyo ba yan? Itatapon ng anak nyo para mamatay? Pero ito, babies, maliliit pa, cute. Siguro pag malaki-laki na, pwede na. Makulit na eh, no? Diba? Ganyan eh. Alam ko yan. Sus, nako, nakailang ganyan ako eh. Pag ano, inaano ako ng mga kapitbahay. Pag magulo ako, tumigil ka. Pag magulo ako, yung kapitbahay, papahuli kita sa bumbay. Sabi ko, hindi ako tako. Tatay ko, bumbay. Huh? Diba? Pag, bakit mo gagawin yun? So if God was against human sacrifice, how come He asked Abraham to offer His sacrifice Isaac as a sacrifice to him. You know why it's controversial? Because it starts with this. Sometime later, anong sabi? God? Ulitin natin. God? Tasted, tested Abraham. Sinubok? Sino sa inyong dumaan sa pagsubok sa buhay? Taas ang kamay. Ano yung isa pang salita sa pagsubok? Probe? Problema. Sino rito dumaan sa problema? Sino rito katabi niya, problema niya? No? Nakataas pa rin yung iba, no? Di ba? Pagka pinag-uusapan ng problema, isang salita nito sa Tagalog, pagsubo. If you're going to be honest, believe me, many times in your life, you struggle between obeying God and obeying your fear. Will I obey God? Ito sinasabi ni Lord. Kaya alam, takot ako eh. Takot, struggle yan. Naglalaban-laban yan. Through the series, my prayer is that you will have the supernatural courage to obey God. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Di ba pag New Year, may mga plano kayo? Tama po ba? Tingnan niyo ako ha. May plano ka. Minsan sinulat mo, nasa puso mo. Tapos ibibigay mo kay Lord. Tama pa? Di ba? Lord, these are my plans. Tapos anong panalangin mo? Lord, sundin niyo ha. Tama o tama? Sundin niyo Lord ha, yung plano ko. Ganun tayo eh. To be honest, di ba? Lord, dami kong plano. Ito yung mga gusto kong mangyari. Sundin niyo ha. At the start of the year at the feast, we do it differently. We do it the right way. Lord, these are my plans and I will obey you. Ganda. Maligtad na. Dati ganun eh. Lord, itong plano ko, pakisunod. Hindi na ngayon. Lord, itong mga plano ko, susunod ako sa iyo. That is why talk number one of the series, Courage. You really need Courage is entitled obedience. Ay, kailangan matapang. Pag hindi ka matapang, you won't obey. Obedience. My prayer is that no matter how scared you are, no matter how big your mission is or how difficult your dream is, that you will obey. You will obey the Lord. Put your hands upon your heart. Close your eyes and bow down your head. 
Say this prayer after me. Jesus, here are my plans, my dreams, my prayers, my goals. I surrender them all to you. And I will obey you. And I believe I will receive your miracles in your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand and bless His name. Thank you, Jesus. As you sit down, tell people around you, obey God. Welcome to our brand new series entitled Courage. Talk number one is obedience. Based on Abraham Isaac's story, I'd like to share with you three practical strategies on how to be courageous. These are strategies for developing courage so that you will be able to get your dreams and be able to surrender them to the Lord. Number one strategy is to take tiny step right away. Take the first tiny step right away. Can you hold someone's hand? Sige nga po. Hawakan niyo yung kamay nung katabi niyo. Everybody, hold someone's hand. Tapos yanigin mo siya konti. Yumayanig ha. Tapos sabihin niyo yung salitang yan. Take the first tiny step right away. Yun ang mahalaga. Yun ang unang hakbang. How did we know this? It's based on the story of Abraham and Isaac. Early the next morning, sinabi na ng Diyos, ialay mo yung anak mo. Early the next morning. Ang galing, no? Umpisa pa lang early. Early ka agad. Hindi yung, it, I'll delay. Um, si, si Abraham talaga, obedient. Early the next morning, Abraham cut some wood for the sacrifice, loaded his donkey, and took Isaac and two servants with him. They started out for the place that God had told him about. You know, I am very sure Abraham was also confused. Nalito rin yan? Bakit? Bakit gusto ng Diyos pagawa sa akin yan? Pangako niya sa akin yan eh. Alam niyo ba si Abraham, ang dating niyang pangalan ay Abram. Dating nakatira siya sa Ur, malayo, sa Iraq. Iraq, Iran place. Sabi ng nagpakita ang Diyos sa kanya, unang pagkakataon nagpakita ang Diyos at sabi sa kanya, take everything you have. Asawa, mga tupa, baka, lahat. Kamag-ana, leave this place and go to a place I promise you. It's a land flowing with milk and honey at may pangako ang Diyos sa kanya. Sabi sa kanya ng Diyos, tumingin ka sa taas. Nakita mo yung mga stars. Ang dami, ano? Opo. Tumingin ka sa sahig. Makikita mo yung mga dust. Makikita mo yung sand. Ganyang karaming magiging mga anak mo. Eh, wala siyang anak. Ang tanda na niya. 90 years old. Paano magkakaanak? Binitbit niya lahat at bumiyahe siya. Sumunod sa Diyos. Tapos nung after 10 years, 90 years old na siya, o 90 years old na yung misis niya, doon nagkaanak. Tapos nung may anak na, na talagang pangako sa kanya ng Diyos, hinihingi, ialay mo raw, patayin mo, tasunugin mo. Talaga. Talaga, he was really confused. But despite this confusion, the Bible says, they started out for the place. My dear friend, has God been telling you to do something? May sinasabi ba ang Diyos sa inyo? Yung talagang the Lord is bothering you, do this, do this, do this. And you are confused? Just like Abraham, you are confused. Talaga? Itong suggestion ko sa inyo, do 
what Abraham did. And what is that? Just start. Pisa na. Go. Just take the first tiny step. Gusto mong pumayat? Umpisahan mo na. Konti-konti ang kain. Konti-konti ang pang-aagaw sa katabi. But take a first step. Tapos ang tanong mo, eh, anong ending ng story? Ito. <laughs> you don't have to know how the story will end. This is what you need to know. Just know that God will be with you till the end. He will be with you till the end. Kaya kahit hindi mo alam, ano kaya ending nito? Basta. Gawin ko na. Alam ko naman kasama ko si Lord hanggang matapos ito. Bakit? Siya nagsabi sa akin. So I strongly suggest you take the tiny, the first tiny step right away. Pwede nyo bang gawin to sa katabi nyo tapos gulatin nyo, ha? palakpakan nyo siya right away. Ready, go! Right away. Kaagad. And I want you to use the law of momentum. That's the universe. There is a law called momentum. Pag nag-umpisa ka ng konti, mamaya umaarangkada ka na. Hindi ka na mapigilan. Why? Because there is momentum and there is courage already. And then it will be very easy for you to take the next steps para maabot mo siya. Tapikin niyo yung katabi niyo. Alam niyo yung katabi niyo yan. Merong project sa isip yan eh. Alam niyo na eh. Tapikin niyo. Sabihin mo sa kanya, umpisahan mo na! Umpisahan na! Take the first tiny step right away. Second strategy. I want you to focus on the Why? Not the how. Sabi nyo nga, why? On the third day, ang layo ng biyahe nila. Tatlong araw. Imagine the torment in the heart of Abraham. Grabe yung puso niya. Mapapatayin ko yung anak ko. Iaalay ko. Mahal na mahal ko to. Three days ang layo ng biyahe. On the third day, Abraham saw the place in the distance. Then he said to the servants, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there and worship. Gusto ko basahin niyo yung last line. And then we will come back to you. Ang sabi ng Diyos sa kanya, iakit mo yung anak mo sa lugar, tapos maglagay ka ng altar, ilagay mo siya, patayin mo siya, tapos sunugin mo yung bangkay. So, pag bumalik na siya, kasama ba niya yon? Wala na. Sunog na eh. Bakit niya sinabing, we will come back to you? At this point, he didn't know how God will do it. Will God resurrect my Isaac? He just knew that God will do something good. Yung sinabihan ka ni Lord, gawin mo to, tapos talaga ikaw talaga. Pero ba't mo susundin? Because you know that God will do something good. Something good will happen. Why? Because God is good. Amen? Because God is good. Yun yung hawakan niyo. Something good will happen, not because I'm good, but because God is good. We have been singing this every first feast of the year. But I want us to sing it again at this time, this portion of the talk. But sing this from faith that God is good. Ang hugot mo, kasi mabuti ang Diyos. Can we all stand? Everybody, stand up. And I want you to sing this song that we have been singing every year at the start of the feast. And believe in this. 
that something good will happen to me this very day, this very year. Why? Because God is good. Together, something good is going to happen to me this very day. This very year, something good is going to happen to me. Jesus is blessing my way. Why do you need to believe that something good is going to happen to you? Because God is good. Not because you're good. Eh, minsan papalpaka this year, you will make mistakes, you will sin. Alam na ni Lord yan. Pero bakit kailangan mong asahan na may maganda mangyayari sa akin? Because God is good. Bakit sumunod si Abraham at dadalhin niya yung anak niya talaga? Because he knew something good will happen because God is good. So sing it again from your heart with faith. Something good is going to happen to me this very day, this very year. Something good is going to happen to me. Jesus is blessing my way. I want you to look for a partner. Harapin mo yung tao na yan. Face each other. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Tapos, I want you to declare to that person something is something good is going to happen to you because God is good. Together, something good. Sabi mo sa kanya, is going to happen to you. This very day. This very day. Yeah. This very year, something good is going to happen to you. Jesus is blessing my way. Can you, all of you, hold hands together and declare something good is going to happen to us because God is good. Amen. Together, go. Something good is going to happen to us this very day. This very year, something good is going to happen to us. Jesus is blessing our way. Something good is going to happen because our God is good. Yes? As you sit down, tell people around you, God is good. Let me continue. What keeps you fearful, actually, is fuzzing on the how. Masyado kang praning sa how. Paano ko to gagawin? Meron kang plano, paano ko to gagawin? Gusto mong gumaling sa sakit mo, pero pa paano? Uh, ito yung gusto, paano? Palaging paano? Paano? Kaya pa? How? How? If you are too much in the how, you will be very, very afraid. Because you don't know how. To be brave, you need to focus on the why. Focus on the why. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, focus on the why. We have a wonderful story, our community. Tayo, we have a wonderful story on focusing on the why. For many years, we have our feast at Festival Mall. Sino mga kasama natin from Festival Mall? Ayan, ang dami. Nandun tayo, di ba? Naalala niyo. We were there for many years. Our problem there was it was overcrowded. Alam niyo po, ang feast talk ko uh, every Sunday, apat. Four times ako nagtutok. Sa gitna nung apat na yon natutulog ho ako. Tapos gigising ako konte para mag-talk ng dalawa pa. So, it was overcrowded. 
And we were praying, Lord, ano ang gagawin natin? Bibilin ba natin tong fi- festival mall? Palitan natin at, ng festival mall. Ganon, no? That was the plan, no? That was the prayer. But the Lord has better plans. The Lord used the people here in Bellevue to call us up. Tumawag po ang Bellevue. At sabi, gusto niyo bang mag dito? So kami na excited, huwag. Puntahan natin, tingnan natin. Magkano yan? Nung binigay yung presyo, yun na. <sighs> na? Siyempre, hindi naman tumura, di ba? Tapos, upo kami ng finance and the leaders. We look at the values. Kaya ba natin to Linggo-linggo. Tingnan natin yung giving ng mga tao. Tinignan namin. At ito po ang resulta, ha? Para alam nyo na. Nung kinumpute namin, positive pa rin tayo. Kahit kunin natin to Kaya pa rin. Ang sarap ng palakpak niyo. Nakunan nyo naman yung palakpak, ano? <laughs> History to eh. Kasi pumalakpak sila eh. Ang sarap. Alam nyo kung bakit, magkano tayo positive pag kinuha natin to 5,000. A month. A month, ha? So sabi ko, ha, hallelujah. 5,000 a month. Paano kung umabsent yung lima? <laughs> na nagbibigay ng 1,000 isa-isa. <laughs> Tapos nagdamay pa sila ng isa, so negative tayo. <laughs> yung parang ganon, yung talagang nakakabato, parang nakakalawit ka. How? If we fuss over the how, wala na. Wala ho tayo dito. Ang ginawa namin, tinignan namin yung why. Pinalaki namin yung why para lumakas loob namin. So, nung ganyan na nga ang value, sabi ko, paano ito? Then I started to pray. Hard. As in hard. Niluluhod kay Lord. Ano yung pinagdadasal ko? para makalipat tayo rito, galing fest. Gusto niyo malaman? Tanong niyo sa akin, ano? This was my prayer. I pray to the Lord that God will make you all rich. Yun ang panalangin ko. Panginoon, payamanin niyo sobra-sobra ang mga feasters ng alabang. Pero may pangalawa akong panalangin. Make them rich and make them generous as well. Make them generous. Tapos, game. Lakasan natin, loob natin. Ganun kami. Sige, try natin. Subukan na. Tiny step. Huwag tayong kumontrata ng isang taon dito. A few months lang. Subukan lang natin. Pag hindi kaya, by the way, Saan natin kinuko ang pambayad ng lahat ng ito? Sa love offering nyo lang ho. Wala tayong grant from abroad. We don't have. Hindi tayo kumukuha ng pera na galing doon sa India. Wala ho, walang ganun. No? <laughs> Kahit India na ko. Wala ko na, wala. Talaga ang operation ng, ng lahat ng ito ay galing sa pagbibigay nating lahat. Kaya, wag kang absent. Kung absent ka man, next week, doblihin mo. Ha? Kasi talagang dun lang. So, kaya yun ang panalangin ko. Payamanin kayo. Tapos, let's try. And then we had our first feast. And it's been two years that we have been here already. Kung nandun kami sa ha- how? Wala ho tayo dito. Kaya nung first feast natin dito, ewan ko kung naram- alam nyo kung nandito kayo. Nung palabas na kayo, nandun ako nakatayo palagi. Paglabas nyo, yung mga yakap nyo at kamay nyo sa akin, nakakagulat. Thank you. Ganun talaga. Thank you for bringing us here. Yung, yung mukhang sobrang appreciated nila kasi... Ako naman takang-takaho talaga. Bakit sila nagti-thank you sa akin? Birthday ko ba? You know? 
Tapos umupo ako dyan. Napaupo ako. Tapos tinignan ko lahat. Sabi ko, eh, kaya naman pala. Napakaganda dito. Yung upuan, may kutsyon. Kasi yung upuan natin doon, plastic. <laughs> Di ba? Tapos pag tumingin ka sa taas, may chandelier. Doon mga pipes. <laughs> Hindi mo alam kung saan banyo to. <laughs> yung makikita mo yung differences pag tumingin ako doon, carpet. Sabi ko, kaya naman pala sila nagpapasalamat. Kasi ang ganda-ganda talaga ng lugar. Two years na tayo dito. Imagine. Because of your generosity and because God made you rich, I believe in that. I believe in that. So continue doing it. Continue doing that. Hindi ho tayo lumipat dito dahil sosyal ang builder nyo. Ako? Bagay talaga sa balat ko to. Hindi. <laughs> Yun ho ang dahilan. Hindi na ho tayo kasya doon. Kaya nung tumawag ito, lipat tayo. Tapos nung kumasa, kaya pala. Go, let's continue doing this. Is that clear to everybody? ha? Huh? Para ikwento nyo sa iba. Kung may naririnig kayo, uy, mayayaman lang yan. Sabi nyo, ang pinakamahirap doon, yung speaker. Nakamotor. No? Kami nakakotse siya, nakamotor. No? no. It is where God was leading us. And we did it because we're not fussing over the how. We were looking at the big why. Do you have a big dream? This 2019, yes? yes? If that dream of yours is terrifying you because you don't know how it will happen, here is the truth. If your why is big enough, the how will take care of itself. Pag grabe yung why mo, gagawa mo ng paraan. Bahala na. Tubukan na natin. Bakit? Lalim nito eh. Naayos din. Yung how susunod. Huwag yung babalik ta rin. Huwag how ka agad. Why muna? Why? Yung iba sa atin, sigurista. Hindi ko gagawin yan. Hanggang di ako sure na ayos yan. O kaya inaral ko lahat. Minsan ganun eh, aral ka ng aral, aral ng aral, hindi mo nagagawa. Tanong ka ng tanong, paano ko ito gagawin? Pinorma na mo lahat. Pero you still delay it by sigurista. During this time, you know what you need. You don't need, you don't need more wisdom. You need more courage. Courage for you. Let's do it. Go. Because God has already provided everything you need to reach your dreams. You now have to take the first step. Yung iba perfectionist. Hindi ko gagawin yan hanggat hindi ayos yan, hindi perfect. Let me warn you of another fearful strategy. A fearful strategy is this. You look for the perfect condition before you do something. Before you pull the trigger, kailangan perfect. But again, you will never attain perfection. Only Jesus is perfect. If you want to achieve your dreams, don't attain perfection. Look for progress, not for perfection. Kasi ang progress, umuulad, John, gawin natin. Two strategies. But the last one is the most important of them all. Strategy number three, I want you to believe that you are the miracle you are praying for. You are. Let's go back to their story. So Abraham made Isaac carry the wood for the sacrifice. Ito na. Naglalakad na sila. As they walk along together, Isaac spoke, Father, yes, my son, Isaac asked. Uh, Isaac, uh, Abraham asked. Isaac asked, I see that you have the coals and the wood, but where is the lamb for the sacrifice? Usually, lamb yan eh, ang inaalay sa Diyos. Hindi tao. Abraham answered, God Himself will provide one. And the two of them walked on together. The little boy, Isaac, saw the coal, the wood, the knife, and wondered, where is the sacrifice? But wala. He didn't realize God already provided the sacrifice. And He was the provision. Siya ang iaalay. 
What is the idea here? What's the point? God has already provided for what you are looking for. Binigay na niya. Yung inahanap mo. He's already given it. And it is all inside of you. All the joy, all the peace, all the strength, all the wisdom is already in you. If I can say it nicely, I'll tell you that you are the answer to your own prayer. You are the answer to your own prayer. Think about this. Pag-isipan niyo ha. How many of your prayer requests, inaalay mo kay Lord, are within your own power to answer? Humihingi ka kay Lord, pero yung sagot nasa yun na. Who are studying here? Nag-aaral po. Taas mo ang kamay. Ayan, ayan. Students. All right. Do you want to pass your exams? Yes. What do you do? Make the tiny step. Ano yan? Oh, tingnan niyo ako. Tiny step lang. Open your book. Oo, aral ka. Buksan mo lang, silip ka. Uy, tapos ganun ka. <laughs> ganun muna, pampakilig. No? Tapos balikan mo ulit. Tapos silip ka ulit na matagal-tagal. <laughs> Kasi ayaw mo eh, di ba? Maya-maya, talagang ibaksak mo na. Ganyan eh, muna. No? Tapos silip-silip ka. Tiny step. Tapos hugutin mo yung big why. Bakit ako kailangan mag-aral? This is for my future. Kaya hindi na pinagdadasal. Yung ipag... Eh, eh, nako, ewan ko ha. Ganito ba? Tama ba ito? May exam ka na. Hindi ka nag-aral. Tapos sabi mo, Lord, tulungan niyo ako sa exam na ito. Multiplication. Ano dito, Lord? Ang tamang sagot. A, B, C, or D. May ipa. None of the above. Lord, ano dito ang tamang sagot? Sa tingin nyo, lalabas ang kamay ng Panginoon at ituturo ang B. Hindi. <laughs> Huwag na kayong magdasal. Aral na lang kayo. Kasi kadalyasan, tayo na yung panalangin. Tayo na yung sagot. Kaya minsan hindi sinasagot ni Lord eh. Bakit? Ikaw na yung sagot eh. Ba't ako pa? Ikaw na lang. Ikaw na lang. You are the answer to your own prayers. Diet. Balikan ko yung diet na yan. <laughs> Quit praying about it. Start doing something about it. Yung iba magdadasal pa talaga, Lord, itong litsyon na ito, alisin nyo ang mga kolesterol. Yung masasama dyan na mapapahamak ako. Amen. Sabay kain. No? Patay kang bata ka. No? Trabahuin mo na. Ikaw na. Tapikin mo yung katabi mo. Sabi mo, umpisahan mo na. You want to have peace in your family. Kaya lang, yung mother-in-law mo nakatira sa inyo, pakilamera. Alam nyo ba, pag minix nyo yung words ng mother-in-law, i-mix nyo, pwedeng lumabas Hitler woman, subukan nyo nalang sa bahay, ha? Ah, ganun-ganun nyo. Woman Hitler. Ganun po yan, ha? Ano gagawin mo? Pinagdadasal mo? Trabahuin mo? Lagi magdasal ka. Pero, iba pa rin yung ikaw na. Ikaw na? Paano? Tiny step. Ano yung first step? Week one. Ngitian mo siya. Ganon. Week one. Hee. Pag dumadaan. Hee. Week two. Hello po. O, oh, iba. Iba na. <laughs> May hello na. Week three. Kain na po kayo. Well, after three weeks, saka mo pinakain. <laughs> Grabe ka talaga. <laughs> Take the step. But you are the answer to your own prayer. Are you getting this? And if I can say it more beautiful, you are the miracle you have been waiting and praying for. You are. Ikaw ang milagrong yan. 
na pinagdadasal mo. So this 2019, obey the Lord. Obey the Lord. Painga mo siya. Baka may pinagdadasal ka na, kaya ko naman to. Ako na lang. Gabayan mo na lang ako, Lord. Yun ang panalangin ko. Gabayan mo ako. Gagawin ko to. Then do it. Tiny step. And then get the why. Why will I need to do this? Because the why will sustain you until you fulfill your goals. And believe you are the miracle you have been praying for. Amen. Let's all stand, brothers and sisters. Let me show you another angle of this. You are the answer to your own prayers, but you can also be the answer to someone's prayer. Pwedeng ikaw rin yun? Yung panalangin ng iba, ikaw ang tutugon. Ako 2018, there were a lot of people who answered my prayers. Grabe. Intentionally or non-intentionally? Yung iba, lalapitan ako. Tapos, tutulungan na lang ako basta. Hindi ba kumingin tulong? Pero kailangan ko ng tulong. Tinutulungan ako. You can be an answered prayer to someone. Pwedeng hindi sadya, ha? Katulad nung nahulugan ka ng 500, may nakakuha. Tapos so, sabi niya, thank you Lord, kailangan ko po ito. Hindi mo alam na bless mo. Naiwan mo yung cellphone mo. Nakuha ng iba. Prayer ko ito, Lord. Hindi na binalik sa'yo. So, yung mga nawawalang bagay nyo, baka answered prayer sa iba yan. Pero ang maganda, sadyain nyo. Hanapin nyo dito. Baka, o sa pamilya nyo, sa buhay nyo, baka may mga taong kailangan ng tulong, volunteer, lapitan nyo na kaagad. Dalaga ka, may nakita ka, kagwapo, binata, lapita mo. Tapos sabi mo sa kanya, Hi. Sabi ni Lord sa akin, I am the answer to your prayers. I have a vision from God that you will be my future husband. Grabe, no? You could be an answered prayer to many. Be that answered prayer. Kaya alam niyo yung kinanta natin kanina, something good is going to happen to me. Pwede nating palitan ng ano. Something good is going to happen through me. Galing sa akin. Because God is good. Amen? Amen? Something good is going to happen through me this very day this very year something good is going to happen through me Jesus is blessing my way put your hand upon your heart Say it again, say it again. Something good is going to happen through me this very day, this very year. Something good is going to happen through me. Jesus is blessing my way. You could be the miracle someone is praying for. And believe me, if you be the answered prayer, you will be very, very happy. Walang katumbas na kaligayahan yan. Sino sa inyo rito nakapagbigay na kayo ng regalo kahit kanino? You have given a gift to anybody. 
taas po ng kamay. Tingnan niyo yung kamay ng katabi niyo. Pag hindi nagtaas yan, ano yan? No? Hindi nakapagbigay. No? You have given a gift already. Question. Nung nagbigay ka ng regalo, nawalan ka ba? Nawalan ka. Bumili ka eh. Nawalan ka ng pera. Nawalan ka ng panahon. Nagbigay ka. You lost something. The question is, why are you still happy? Nung nagbigay kayo ng regalo, masaya ba kayo? Di ba? Lalo na nung ginagamit na niya. Nakita mo, sinuot niya yung t-shirt na hindi kasya. Pero sinuot. Di ba? Yung talagang hirap na hirap yung tao. No? Pag gumagal, hirap na hirap. Pero saya mo, sinuot niya. Ginamit niya. Gumastos ka, na walang ka, ba't ang saya mo? Ganun talaga. <laughs> Di ko mapaliwanag. So if you answer someone's prayer, you will be ultimately happy. Believe that you can be someone's miracle. Why? Because God is good. And He is good to you. And because He is good to you, you can be good to somebody this year. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Close your eyes and bow down your head. And I would like you to just imagine how good God is to you. All the blessings you receive. And believe that He will continue to be good to you this year. And believe something good will happen because God is good. God is good.
this life brings suffering, Lord, I will remember what you did learn on the cross. But Calvary has worked for me. Sing it up. around you, people you love, people you know, and tell them our God is good. Can you sit down as you prepare for giving? All right. Are you blessed today, brothers and sisters? Say amen. Amen. Okay. So I invite every um, birthday and wedding celebrants to stand up as we uh, bless you and give you prayer. Come on. Um, every birthday celebrants and wedding anniversary for this month of January. Okay. Praise God. Let's give, give them a clap of applause. Let's lay our hands to our celebrants. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these people. We thank you for giving this another year for them. And we pray for the birthday celebrants of this month of January. May continue to um, give them a heart of yours and your, of your servant, O oh God. May continue to bless this year, the, the, this year, O oh God. And may you offer them. May they offer their life this year to you, Almighty Father. And we also pray for the wedding celebrants, O oh God, that you may use their married life to bless more people, O oh God. And may you guide them and lead them to your presence, into your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we also would like to... Uh, in to stand up all the new attendees and peace ambassadors. First time attendees, raise your hands and stand up so we can pray for you also. All right, welcome, welcome to the feast. Let's also lay our hands and bless these people. Thank you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for um, guiding these people. To this day and may continue to um, be with us for the next coming Sunday so God and may you prosper the, their their life their um, career their school their studies their finances their relationships so Lord may you bless their hearts according to your will according to your word in Jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. 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 Your father and son and we would like to invite every woman in the house. Sino po dito lahat ng kababaihan? So we go! Woo! 
So we invite you for our retreat this coming January 26 to 27, our WOW retreat. So we give you a refreshing weekend with our God this, um, this event. And for, the, for the, those who would like to, to join this retreat, uh, you can look for Sister Shirley. And uh, you can ask for any details. So see you there on this retreat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. So this one, again, if you have not given this yet, this is our Christmas gift, special offering to the Lord. What do we do with this? The Lord has been impressing on me to really help to two things, two groups. Yung isa po ay mga high school sa public schools. We want to really go there and have a mass evangelization. Gusto natin magkaroon sila ng gang, gangnam beauty. Ano yon? Yung kung magulo ang buhay nila noon, ayusin ni Lord at pagandahin ng kanilang buhay. So, saan kukukunin yon? Dito po yon. Paano tayo mag evangelize depending on how much we will be able to collect from our special offering. Kasi ito po, itong tithes and our regular giving will go to the operational funds of this. Pambayad dito every week. Ito po yung extended arm natin. So if you have not yet given, please do so. Please don't give it here. Bring it there sa lobby po ng Tower Wing. There is a booth. You give it there and they will give you an, a small exchange gift po. So, ito po yan. Pangalawang gusto ko nang puntahan ay ang prison ministry. We really want to open a prison ministry or if you, it's in your heart, we can go to uh, Munting Lupa. Alam niyo po, nang teenager pa ako, weekly po ako pumupunta dyan. Sa maximum, every week, teenager. Dala ko yung gitara, tapos I ministered to the prisoners. When I was 30 years old already, hindi na ako masyado nakakadalaw sa munting lupa. I gave a talk in Quezon City. After my talk, there was an old man who approached me. Tapos sabi niya, Brother, hindi mo ko kilala, pero malaki ang utang na loob ko sa'yo. Sabi ko, sino po kayo? <laughs> Dati akong bilanggo sa munting lupa. Ikaw ang nagbaptize sa akin in the Spirit. Ikaw yung preacher na pumupunta linggo-linggo. Ang bata-bata mo pa noon, payatot ka, sabi sa akin. No? At dahil dyan, nabigyan ako ng pagkakataong lumaya. At ngayon, malaya na ako, sabi niya. I am following you as well. So nagpipreach-preach din ako sa different places here in, in Manila. So ako talaga parang grabe, no? Kaya malaki ho sa puso ko talaga ang ministry ng prisoner kasi maliit pa lang ako nandiyan na ako. Payatot pa lang ako, pinupunta na ako dyan. Tapos pag napapasyal ako lately, nakakatuwa, iniimbita nila ako. Pagpasok ko sa loob, sinusundo ako ng mga bilanggo. Tapos ang dami ho nilang sumusunod, mga korenta ang susundo sa iyo pag sa akin. Tapos lahat sila may payong. Sabi ko, nangiinsulto ba kayo? Ano? <laughs> Kasi ayaw nila mainitan ako at maulan na. Tapos ihatid nila ako sa simbahan. Pagdating doon sa simbahan, nandun na yung mga tao. Tapos habang naglalakad kami, ito yung tanong ko sa kanila, bakit nyo ba ako gustong pinapapunta rito? Palagi nyo ako iniimbita. Alam mo, sagot nila, kasi brother, parang pareho ka namin. So ako parang, eh, pa insulto ba yun? O compliment, no? Pareho daw kami, no? So it's in my heart, how do we reach out to the young and to the prisoners here. Ito po ang magdidepending malaki. Kung ano po itong laman, yun lang ang kaya nating gawin. Kaya I ask that you be generous in giving if you want only special gift for the Lord. Next Sunday, please come back. Bring your friends with you. This is a very powerful series that will really bless your life. Let's all stand, everybody. Lift up to God your offering. And just bow down your head in humility. And let me pray for you. Father in heaven, we believe something good is going to happen because you are a good, good God. I pray, O oh Lord, that you receive all our offerings and multiply them so we can bring more people to your love, to your embrace. I pray for my brothers and sisters. This is the seed money they are giving today. 
Ito ang unang pagbibigay nila sa taong ito sa iyo. I pray that you multiply what they're about to give and give it back to them a hundredfold. This is their, our first fruit. Because you are first in our lives. May we give honor to you through our giving today. Thank you for giving us a chance to give because we will be an answered prayer to somebody, especially the poor and the poor in spirit. Thank you once again, dear Lord. This is our offering. We give this to you with joy. In Jesus' name, Amen. Happy New Year, everybody. Come and give to God with joy.